right, today I'm reviewing the Benton Deep Green Tea Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos, so if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, finally getting to review this one. I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to. I guess the first time I started testing it, I didn't love it so much. And then I put it away for a while. I pulled it out, used it, liked it again. Put it a little way, then pull it back out, and now I'm actually using it and not, not hating it. So um, I did want to work on a, a favorite green tea serum list. I figured like sick of creams, there's a gazillion of them. I figured there'd be gazillions of green tea serums, and there's really not that many. I could find this one. I could find the one from Isn't Free. I could find the one from Isn't Tree. Um, and then what else was there? Oh, there's one from Beauty of Josephine. There wasn't that many green tea serums. I don't know why, but I thought there would be tons, but hint, hint to anyone out there. Think about that. Okay, so they say this hypoallergenic serum is formulated with green tea extract to soothe skin. Well, three types of hyaluronic acids. Yay, hyaluronic acids Pro provide ample hydration. The serum also boasts a watery texture that is quickly absorbed into skin without feeling heavy or sticky. Yay, we love hyaluronic acid. Woohoo. Uh, okay, so. Anyway, okay. So my first criteria is packaging. I actually really like the packaging of this. I like the fact that they used a dark bottle, an airless uh, tube bottle. Love it. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It also has no fragrance in it, so no real noticeable scent. The manufacturing location for it is South Korea, so ease of use. So... I think the first thing that surprised me the first time I used this and then I kind of put it back for a while was how watery it is. It is really watery. I thought it would have more of a thicker serum gelish texture to it, but it's it's a water texture. They don't really lie about that. Um, so there we go. So I would say two pumps is enough to cover face and neck without any issues. There we go. So really nice watery texture, which might take a little bit of time to get used to. I think that's the major hurdle with this one is people expecting it to be kind of thicker and it's watery and then they don't know what to do with it. And then sometimes it messes up where you put in your routine and things like that. So um, otherwise you can use it face and neck, pat it afterwards. Uh, so yeah, so if you apply this, um, I would apply it immediately after cleansing, toning, and essences. Uh, make sure you apply this before any other serums because most of those are probably going to be thicker in texture. Um, I will say it does set to kind of a t slightly tacky finish. It's not a deal breaker for me at least because I put a moisturizer over it so I don't really, um, doesn't bother me as much. Um, then it kind of sets to slightly natural finish. I wouldn't say it's shiny. I wouldn't call it matte either. So somewhere in between. Okay, let's talk about the beneficial ingredients in this one. So obviously we've got different types of green tea in here. We've got green tea water, we've got green tea leaf extract, we've got green tea root extract, then we've got the seed extract, and sorry my eye is itching. Um, all of them have different benefits. So green tea water, um, antioxidant soothing ingredient, and also note uh, sometimes with some of the really good green tea extracts, if a brand is using a really good one, sometimes you will notice a slight uh, scent to it, uh, kind of a tea-ish smell. So sometimes with those really good extracts, it's very strong and they also can make them very dark in color. This one doesn't have that. And this one literally has no scent hardly at all. I mean, I don't notice any scent. So that might not necessarily mean they're using the highest grade of green tea, but anyway. So, uh, so excuse me, I kind of screamed for a second. Okay, I almost hiccuped. And I don't want to hiccup because once I start hiccuping, it will continue for hours. Okay, green tea leaf extract, antioxidant and soothing. Then I've got green tea root extract, which is just a skin conditioning ingredient. We've got that green tea seed extract. It's a good hydrating ingredient. So they all have different antioxidants, skin conditioning, hydrating benefits. Uh, then we've got betaine, which is a good hydrating ingredient. We've got panthenol, which is a good skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. We've got Hatunia Cordata Extract. I wish they would give this a cute name finally. Like Mugwort is a terribly long name, but they just call it Mugwort because it's shorter than Hatunia Cordata Extract, but whatever. Hatunia Cordata Extract is a flowering plant. It's native to Southeast Asia, rich in polyphenic flavonoids, 
polysaccharides and also has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits for skin. Then we've got Centella Asiatic Extract. It's a great antioxidant, skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. We've got uh, black willow and then we've got white willow. Um, the black willow is skin protecting. The white willow is soothing and anti-inflammatory. Then we've got pomegranate extract, which is a good antioxidant. Let's see. Then we've got sodium hyaluronate, hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate, and hyaluronic acid. They're all humectants. We've got camellia oil, which is a good hydro ingredient. Um, Tatcha has a camellia oil cleanser. You don't really see that specific oil that often, but anyway. Then we've got matocaside, centella-derived extract that has antioxidant, skin soothing, and wound healing properties. We've got vitamin E, which is an antioxidant hydrating. And then finally, we've got sunflower seed oil, which is an emollient. And actually, it's with that watery texture, it's actually kind of impressive that they have some oils in there. I wouldn't have guessed that, but anyway. Because it is lightly hydrating, but I'll get to that in a second. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this is vegan and cruelty-free, so no issues with that. Performance, so I do like this. It's a good multi-purpose serum that covers some good areas. It's got some good antioxidants. It's got hydrating ingredients. It's got some good sooth skin soothing ingredients. I would say it helped a little bit with redness and inflammation, but not quite as hydrating as I expected it to be. However, if I use this under another good moisturizer sunscreen, it's not a deal breaker. Perhaps uh, summer and fall it might be, or spring and summer might be a little bit better uh, in terms of the hydrating benefits. For the winter, it's not enough, but maybe in the summer, I'll give it a whirl again. Um, I didn't find it to be a must-have product, but I did find it to be a good, nice hydrating serum. And the nice thing for acne-prone skin is there's only one ingredient of note, vitamin E. So um, that's nice. In terms of the price, so this is a full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters, retails for about $16, makes it pretty affordable. Although I can tell I haven't totally used this one a ton and I'm already nearly empty. Out. This one's nearly empty. So I don't feel like really outside of a month, 30 days of using it. Maybe I've used it for 50, 40. I guess that's a good amount for it to be nearly empty. So, okay. In terms of the it factor, um, it's not a must-have. It's a good general hydrating serum. I'll definitely finish it. Probably won't repurchase it. I've got a lot of other serums that I love, like the Hygiene Natural Repair Serum. That one's a repurchase. Um, but this one, it's decent, but it's nothing to sing to home about or whatever. <laughs> sing right to home. home. Right. It's nothing to write home about. So, But it's still decent. So with the 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 9. Uh, yeah. Close, maybe a couple more ingredients, maybe switching out the hyaluronic acid with something else. Superoxide dismutaser, I don't know, something. Would have done a little bit more for me in terms of excitement, but still a decent product. Anyway, so interesting hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try check this one out yet, or if you have a favorite green tea serum, since apparently there's only five, there's got to be more. So if I missed any, leave a comment. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will see you more tomorrow. Bye, guys.